And he he admitted he was wrong, and I was like, "Dog, that's what you should have said in the first place." Like you tried to push this for agenda, no yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But it's all <laughs> love, now, eh? No, what? no, crazy, no. Damn, no, it's not on me. We're cool. I mean, it's like I don't care what he does and whatever, but you keep it moving. Yeah, like I'm I'm not about to. No. Music has changed. How it makes us feel never will. The time is now to visit mstudios.co.za. And uh, very many ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. Hang out with the coolest kid in Africa. Do you still call yourself that or are you nah, now Zulu Man with some power? Man, man. <laughs> I, I remember the last uh, uh, um, uh, interview you did, I was still at 947, yeah. and you tweeted it was the best interview you've ever done. Fact. Is it still the best? Yeah, you, some people might have talked to you. <laughs> Because <laughs> I mean, it was a while back. Yeah, but I'm telling you, but like, like out of all the interviews I do, dog, like, Not that many of them stand out or, or or stay in my in my little memory box. But I had you at a good time, man, because you were just dope. coming up. Yeah, it was dope, bro. And you can understand at that time, everyone was asking me the same questions. Yeah, you came with the you you came with the homework. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was like it's different. I'm gonna make this one the second best day. Eh? All right, all right, all right, dog. Dude, what happened with you and, and Nota? I didn't know what was the beef about there. What happened there? No, man. That guy. Before we get into the music, guy, that guy is always like. Um, Just like I don't know what to call it, man. He's always just like throwing in his own opinions about artists and stuff like that. And he had been doing that like with my name, and I just kept quiet. And then one day I was like, like I woke up and I was like, you know what? Since you're using me for the clout, let me use you for the clout. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. giving me a chance to to cause like a little bit of a frenzy on Twitter, so I just did it. What What happened? What did he say? I don't know, man. So he he went he went on and on about just like artists not improving. Um, he said. I know the one that really ticked me off was the one. It was like a you know those little collage, yeah, shinnesses that they do on on Instagram. They yeah, like they put a picture this side and the caption on this. Side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was one of those. I can't remember what it said really. So But was, it was about <clears throat> it was about me and Cass or something like that. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what, man? Let me face this guy. Though. So you were saying you guys on improving? Yeah, he said the past four years, like no essay artist has improved. Wow! He said, he said Costa is at the top, like of the list. I'm like, yo, no disrespect to Costa. Like I fuck with Costa. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. That's a lie. Dog. Shit, nah, bro. But you must hear this like all the time, dog. So why did yeah. that tick you off? Because I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it was somebody I didn't know, I probably would have just. It would have been another hate tweet. I would have just ah. Eh. Yeah, yeah. That's somebody I know. It's like, dog. I know you. I know you haven't done shit for the game. Like, no, <laughs> don't don't play with my name like that, dog. Like. You Questa's I mean? done shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I said. Even I was like, "Yo, Questa, Questa's done something for the game. You sit on his lap, dog. You you should not be singing right now. Like, shut up." Dog. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? but, but you chopped it up. Never. Did he call you after that, or did you call him? Where will he call? He doesn't have my details, dog. Where will he call? <laughs> I heard he tried to call. Who? Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Yeah. I heard. I heard he tried to call Gemini. Mm. Because I, that thing wasn't just on Twitter. That thing was even like on WhatsApp. They have like a WhatsApp group. I don't know what it's called or whatever, but. There's a hip hop WhatsApp group. I don't know if it's hip hop per se. Yeah. But there's a, there's a group with like artists and DJs and. and oh shit! And stuff, yeah. I, just, I clearly haven't made it because I'm not in that group. I'm not in that group either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that group. Yeah. Uh, dude, what does Iverson mean? Iverson's a name I I I made up um, taking from like my mother's name. My mother's name was Ivy, and mm. she's like my spirit guide. You know, she's like my yeah. go-to. So Ivy Sun. Oh shit! That's just to dope. honor her, you know. Just yeah, to, bro. Carry that legacy, man. And I'm sure she'd be proud of you right now, bro. She is. Because since the last time we met, dude, the shit, the moves you've made. But I told you this, dog. Remember yeah. I told you this would happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is all. We manifested all of this stuff. Like, and, and, and your dad, is your dad proud of you, of what you've achieved? Yes, man. Yeah. Completely changed now. Like, we're on good terms, like, fully, 100%. We're friends now. I can have, like, a proper conversation with him now. Like, yeah. Has he ever seen, like, your shows and stuff? Yeah, I brought him to the Iverson show in, uh, <clears throat> in Durban. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was there. I caught some videos of him like dancing in the <laughs> dancing like he's in church, and I was just like, "That's typical of you." But but I, you know, what I mean? like you're dancing to my music for a change. So I was like, That's "Yeah, dope. it was a proud moment." So right. which which female figures like raised you in your mom's place? Um, I had a lot of stepmothers, but I had step. I mean, 
um, big sisters also. So it's like my 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 number one big sister, Ulundio. She's the one that really took care of me. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm right after her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so she she took care of me. My big brothers took care of me. Um, but I had like a lot of stepmothers. Like a lot of stepmothers. You didn't have that stepmother <clears throat> drama, eh? You never had that. What? Man. You're playing. You're kidding. My, hey, thug, like on another level. For real? Yeah, thug, we all go through that, thug. Shit. Yeah, a couple times, different stepmothers, thug. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was always the different one at home also. Like I was, I don't know. I don't know if I should say rebellious or just like, I was, but I was just different. I was the one getting into the most trouble. And they didn't like um, that. Yeah, they didn't like that. And especially since like hip hop was my thing and Everybody else in the house is like either R and B, gospel, or house music, and it's like no vulgar, no tattoos, yeah, no smoking, yeah, no nothing. Yeah. And I'm the one coming with the sag in my pants and this and that, so they don't really get along with me like that. Like, that. and have you ever met any of your stepmothers? Like, since you were, yeah, uh, yeah, have you done a song about them? That would be awkward. I mentioned them on the album. Ah, on, on, on uh, how many times? Mm, mm. Yeah, but I don't, I don't expose them or nothing like that. Like, I have respect for my pops, man. Dude, I've never had a stepmother. It must be crazy, bro. Never, never had a stepparent. Never, ne- never. My mom was the crazy. only one who raised me. <clears throat> Single parent. It's crazy. Like it, it, it's it's whack because most of the time it's it's either one or the other extreme. It's either you guys really don't get along, or you guys get along really well because they don't they won't put their hands on you nothing because they know yeah. you're not their child, so they're yeah. cool. They're like ah whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? So yeah. they can either be really cool. Or they could just be like the worst. I mean, it was funny. I just thought about something now. Because uh, I've been watching like a lot of interviews that you did like with Vlad and yeah. uh, Hot, 90, Hot 97. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Like they always ask you the race question. Like, yo, how's racism? Hey. And they say, like you're the spokesperson. Of race. Bro, it's like those guys, those guys are just trying to bait you in, dog, and just set you up, bro. So they, so they can have like a proper headline. That's, what, that's why they do it, really. Yeah. It's just for a proper headline so they could... And the thing is, I don't know how it is in America because I've never been to America, right? But like growing up in SA, my childhood, I never experienced any racism. Like my best friend was Jewish. He was a white guy. But it was only when I got into corporate, I was like, oh shit, there's racism. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's the same with you. Same same thing with me. Like you only really experience it when you have to step out there into the world yourself. Like while you're still under the shouts of like your parents and whatever, you don't experience that though because they put you in like the best or most favorable Environments, yeah. You know what I mean, they put me in a place where there was no no racism really. Yeah. Until I had to step out there by myself, like and really see. It's like, oh shit, that is racist actually. <laughs> you know I mean? It was so funny. How's how's America though? It's cool, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How often do you go there that, uh, lately? Uh, well, lately because of like restrictions and whatever, yeah. I haven't really. But um, like we travel a lot, man. Because I'm trying to make this move, like to being a global artist. Yeah. And it's almost as if you have to make it in the states before you make it, like. Yeah, yeah, everywhere else in the world. Yeah, so we're doing a lot of traveling. Do you still remember the first time you went to America? I do, very vaguely though. Yeah. Yeah, my mind was all over the place. I do, but it's very vague. Yeah. Do you have a spot that side? We were getting one to move. I was going to stay there like a couple months there, a couple months here, like... But um, again, this thing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It messed us up. And uh, who... It's a pretty nice spot though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're by... We're, we're, we're LA. Yeah. Shit. Fuck, dude. Listen to you, you're 22, you're about to buy a spot in LA, my nigga. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I could I, be buy one in Santon. I don't know about buying. I don't know if I'd buy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not right now. No, 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 no. Did you meet any famous one. rappers that side? Yeah, I met a lot of them, especially on the first trip also. For, yeah. uh, first time in LA. Mm. I met a lot of a lot of people because it was, I think it was BT week. And you, you go into these like big rooms where it's like, just packed with different different people set up like this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Station, okay, cool. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's like rows on rows on rows. It looks like a like a classroom sort of kind of. Mm. And it's like while you're sitting here, Khaled is doing his interview there. Yeah. You know, Dolph is doing his there. Ti is doing his right over there. So it's like oh shit, like you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like two minutes here, two minutes, two minutes here. And I met a lot of them in that room. I think that's that's when I saw like most in like at the same time. Yeah. yeah that's what's and did you ever meet anyone and like the vibes weren't connecting? Because you know there's some people that we look up to and then when you meet them, they're like, fuck, he's a dick. That, that hasn't really happened to me. The whole don't meet your heroes type mm. thing. I'm glad that hasn't happened to me yet. Like yeah. that, would, that would be so... Uh, nah, nah, that hasn't happened to me. How does the track with T.I. come about? Like who reaches out to... Wait a to minute, him? wait a minute. I mean, that kind of... Ha- with who? It wasn't, it wasn't like bad energy or whatever, but it's like I met them and I was like, oh... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what was the fuss about? No, there was no fuss. There was no no 
Yeah. Like, that's Twister now, go nothing like that. You know what I mean? But it was just like, ah. Like, who's that? This is not what I saw on a pamphlet. Like, I thought you were supposed to be like, I won't say who, man, because I, I still fuck with them, but it's like, when I met them, I was like, eh. Yeah. Okay. Eh. It's like a mind fuck when that happens, eh? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's happened to us a couple times, actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Um, how did the tongue, uh, song with uh, T.I. come about? Like, do you approach him? Does he approach you? Um, I, Well, the first one, he approached me. He was here in SA. He was in Cape Town. Oh. When they were shooting with Megan or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they were shooting a movie there. Um, and he reached out then and we did the first one. It's also on the album. And then <clears throat> I had a song that I'd had in the bag for like a year. And then um, I hit him up for that one. Um, cause just cause he's like he's the perfect person for that type of topic. Or you got him on WhatsApp, bro. Well, I message, but yeah. Shit, you got Tia on WhatsApp. You see his uh, status. You know how many people I have like on my <laughs> like if if I was that type of dude, bro, like it would be over. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be over. Fuck. Yeah, cool. Now is is the added pressure? Because I remember you mentioned like Ti is your favorite rapper. Nah, there was no pressure just because of the person he is, man. I don't think, I don't think he's that type of guy. Like he's 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 very he's very human. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he's not like a rapper. He's he's human. Yeah. He's like on some real life shit. He's not. His whole shit is not clouded. So when when we spoke with him, like he didn't speak to me like an old rapper, experienced rapper talking to a new comic rapper. Mm. Oh, he was like, "Yo, I heard your shit. You're dope. You're mature. I whatever. Da da da. What's the next move? You want to do a song?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Okay, cool. Send me something. I sent him something. Da da da." A couple months later, when we when we speak again, we're just talking about some other shit. Now he's just talking like. Like he's my mentor, like he's my my like I'm under his wing type shit. Yeah. Not like how you call like Umalu and say Umalu. Yeah. One two three. Yeah, he's like that. Though. He's like that. Ti dog. Yeah, bro, it's crazy, isn't it? Dude, you talking like we talking about Tira? This is Ti. <laughs> 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 crazy, man. Shit, man, that's crazy. Fuck me. And and to me, I get a feeling like to you, it's like whatever, man. It's not even a big deal. I'd lose my mind because my idol is yeah. Howard Stern. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if I made him, I'd lose my mind, dog. Not let alone do a track with him, bro. Yeah. And you just out here like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, man. This is the type of person I am, I guess. So now, okay, who do you want to do a track with now? Like your ultimate so goal, Drake. Yeah, Drake, Young Thug, Future. Young Thug at the top of the list. Yeah, Future, Drake, uh, Travis. And that's gonna happen, bro. Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's it's just a matter of when. Sure. Yeah, I just his his two. Youngest signees, newest signees are on my album. You know? And and his label fucks with me. Like, we talk on, on like, DM. Um, they're pretty cool. They were trying to send me some merch the other day. Um, I don't know what happened, though. It was just a bit of a confusion. So he definitely knows about me. I know that. <laughs> He's lying if, I, if he said he did it. Yeah. But uh, we're going to do a song one day, hopefully, man. Aye, yeah, that's, I, I feel like one shy shy, boy. That nigga knows me, thuggy. For I, real? Knows me, yeah. Thug knows me. What this day, is your day? life, dog. I feel like it's a movie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Man. I was I was chatting to Rouge the other day and she said like she's got a vision board. So every year she writes like and puts things that she wants to do. Do you have something like that? Like is everything that's happening now, was it planned? Yeah, I, I definitely do. But mine is like mental. That's, that's just how I live. That's just how we live. Me and my friends, dog. We're just like, we're firm, firm believers in the law of attraction. Everything I've ever said I was going to do, I've done it. You know what I mean? I just have a couple more boxes to take. So now mm. I'm just adding more boxes. I'm adding more ridiculous shit because the stuff that I accomplished, I thought it was crazy back then. Yeah. I was told, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not dreams. Yeah. So I put everything that scared me and I did it. And I was like, oh shit. So now I just have to add like some, some outrageous shit. That's why I say I'm going to be a billionaire before 35. That sounds crazy. Yeah. If I did all this shit, I'm definitely going to... 35, 30, you dog. I say 30, my ninja. 30, 30, and are you, are you billionaire close, in, 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 in rands dollars. or dollars? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But but if I don't make it in dollars, I'll be close enough. You know what I mean? I'll be I'll be a billionaire in red. Yeah. And that'll, that'll, be good. that'll be good. So what are we adding on the list now? Like what's the most outrageous shit that you're thinking right now that you want to do? I have to be one of those artists that people don't don't put in a list. You know, like how you say, uh, oh, who's who's the hottest rappers today? Yeah. You don't think Jay Z, you don't mention him. Mm. Don't on that shit. Mm. I wanna be there. I wanna be there. Like if you say uh best producers of our generation, you don't mention Timberland, you don't mention Dre. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they do so deep. much. Yeah, they they thought they passed that point of being you can never put Dre and Metro booming. No disrespect to Metro. It's one of my favorite producers ever. But you can't put Dre and Metro like yeah. you know what I mean? I wanna be I wanna be that guy. Shit. Eventually though, I'm not rushing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, in Zulu Man, you mentioned a lot of names of people you grew up with, you know, like Spears, Pa, Mark, Neo, and all these other Neo. guys. Yeah. There's no Neo, eh? Nah, it's not 
Okay, but for the sake of the podcast, let's just say there's a nail. <laughs> Are you still cool with these guys? Yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah. Some of them are here. He's here. Is he nail? No, no, no. It's Ted. <laughs> oh, it's Ted. Oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, Omar Key is coming right now. He just went to the store somewhere. So are they like your friends' friends or like they're part of the team? You like, let's nah, go. These together. are my friends. No, nah, these are my friends. I'm talking about my friends. Like people that saw me. That's why I, I say it the way I say it. I'm just like, these are the people that saw me go from nothing to what I am today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did they always believe in you? Yes. Yes, so, 100%. He was my first fan ever, 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 ever. Yeah. Like, my first fan. Like, you know, if, if followers were real life fans, yeah, 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 like, yeah. He was he's one. Number one. Yeah, yeah. 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 And none of them tell you like, yeah, I know this track is whack, dog. They have every right to. I don't know why they don't. <laughs> they they have, don't. Yeah, I, I've, I've nev- never came to me and said, ah, this one's not done. But like, they've never really done it. But they know they can. They have every right to. Um, yeah, but they definitely help me out with like picking like the songs that make it to like the album or whatever. whatever. So break down your team, dog. Like who's in your team? Like what's going on? Because it seems like there's a lot of people, bro. Yeah, it's like it's in different... Little brackets. Okay, can you break, uh, so can like, you break it down? First back, bracket is uh, it's me, Teddy, Mark, Ayand. Right? So that's <clears throat> that's me. It's my photographer. It's my DJ and my real life big brother, but also my manager. Oh, so Ayand. Like the media. Like, like mm. almost in the same house. Like, you know what I mean? And then, and then you get, um, there's Yvette, there's Storm, and there's like this, like the Colin, um, Kevin, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is your this team. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's shit. Like the media team and then the team that takes care that really just like takes care of all this shit. Like the people you spoke to? Yeah. The second bracket. That's like them and whatever. Oh. And then there's like an inter- international team yeah, as well. And then that's the third bracket. Fuck. Yeah. And all these people, you paying them? Yeah. Well, Fuck me. <laughs> How they supposed to do their jobs? I have to. I have to. You know, sometimes I wish after the interview, I was like, yo, dude. Uh, Nasty, you need a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I would have been touring the world with you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's a huge team, dog. So does that put pressure on you to like keep releasing stuff, keep making money so you can afford that team? It puts pressure on all of us, I'd like to believe. Because mm. if they don't do their jobs well, I don't mm. make that much money. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So left hand, right hand. And when did you start realizing, fuck, I gotta, I gotta get a better team, a bigger team? No, that 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 happens naturally. Like mm. we go from being just the two of us. So, okay, cool. We need you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, okay, you have this. I cool that. And I noticed, like in the clubs, dog, you don't stay too long, dog. Yeah. Why do you move like that? I don't know, man. I don't want to be too accessible. I don't want niggas to think they could just. Oh no, that guy's here. Okay, cool, fine. Nah, I don't want to be that type of artist. I want you to feel my presence when I'm there, dog. Like, yeah. Get there, do my job and be out. Like, you shouldn't know what I look like from every single angle. Yeah. You know? I don't, then that takes away the interest or, or just like that urge to check me out every time. But we live in a social media era where people want to know what you're eating, eating, what you're shitting, everything. But when you don't tell them, they have that question forever. As soon as you tell them, you gave them what they want. Now you you, you dismiss them pretty much. Mm. Now they can walk away. Yeah. yeah, you should never do that. But you used to post a lot on your social media. You still do. Yeah, I still do, but it's not like personal stuff. Like, I don't let people into my mind what's really going on in my life. I post some clown shit. Like, I... Like, I'm just a clown also. Yeah, yeah, no, I see. Yeah, don't all see. that shit is just a wall. People think they know me. You know, people not know me. Uh, there's a tweet you put out today. You said, uh, message to all my fans. This is about to be a rocky road. Yeah. Hang on tight, LOL. The haters are not taking no breaks. I got them fucked up, LOL. Yeah. Are you talking about Speedster? I'm talking about all of them. Yeah? Of them. Who's this? I, I feel every, like you got a hit list, every, dog. I, I do. I do. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I do. Yeah. I do. I do have a hit list. It's a couple people, man. It's just... It's just like it's the hate that just comes out of nowhere. It's like I'm, I I don't do people no harm, dog. I'm like I'm not that type of dude. I'm not in people's businesses. You can never say I said something about somebody. You can never say I, I treated somebody a certain way. Nothing like that. You know what I mean? So, like you can you can you know I can never like turn my cheek that many times, dog. Like you mm. turn the other cheek. Okay, cool. I right, fine. Niggas want to be like this. I right, fine. It's fine. A couple years down, like you just say fuck it. I don't need none of this shit. You attack me, I'm gonna attack you right back. I'm fight fire with fire. See where that goes. Shit, right now. Is that what happened with Speedster? Yeah, same thing. Same what was thing. that? That was about a Somebody, song, man. <clears throat> it was. It was more. It was. It was about more than that. I think he had like some personal shit that he was just going through, and I don't know. It stemmed from a dark place, though. It was like jealousy, envy, all that shit. And it's like with me, hey, my tongue guys. I mean, I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. If you want to go public, good, I'm go public too. Like. And, and actually tell people the real story. Because he was lying. That's another another thing I don't like. Niggas lie. They just lie. And they just 
I don't know if because I've been a quiet person on social media, they just think I'm just gonna. That, t- that time's over, bro. Yeah, it's over. It's a wrap, bro. Yeah, yeah. I pick my battles. Yeah. So I need to know who to use when, but all that walking over me. Uh, and have you spoken to him since? Nah. I mean, we're spoken through people. Oh. Like, um, VG called me the other day. I spoke to Scoop also because they work together. And he yeah. said it on there. On the, the, on the yeah, platform, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we spoke indirectly. Yeah. And he he admitted he was wrong. And I was like, dog, that's what you should have said in the first place. Like, you tried to push this for Agenda, no reason. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But it's all yeah. love now, ne? No. What? No. Crazy, no. Damn. No, it's not all love. We're cool. I mean, it's like, I don't care what he does and whatever, but... You keep it moving. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not about to... Nah. So how do you distinguish between, like, constructive criticism and a hater? Yeah, have the guts to tell me to my face if you really mean it. Mm. Like, you call me and you'll tell me, dog. You, you mm. go on social media, especially if you... I mean, we're not that close anyways, dog. It's not, it's not like I've ever asked you for no type of advice or nothing like that, and you're just going to go out there and act like I'm a kid that disappointed you. Who the fuck are you? I'm not doing this for you, dog. Like, if you have something to say about me, rather you just call one of my people and then tell it to me. You know? Yeah. Don't try and start some shit on the side, like, trying to act like you know better or nothing like that. That's just not going to fly. Really. So if I'm sitting here, because you know I'm a fan of yours, and I'm like, yo, I don't like that song, so I'm saying, XYZ. You're telling me lies. Yeah, you know I mean? oh, okay. I get the chance okay. to say, oh, how come? Oh, come yeah, no. okay. As, As opposed, opposed to, to saying it where I'm only going to see it hours later after a thousand retweets and, you know, like, come on, though. We don't, we don't move like that. Yeah, because he could have called you. You're right, man. Yeah, he could have. He could have. He knows who to call to get to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's strange, man. Very strange. Very uh, strange. Yeah, uh, you said uh, in the song Jungle, you niggas got balls talking all that shit. Me and fake niggas, we just don't mix in a gangster. Click, click, boy. Shut the fuck up, dog. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> <laughs> this is typical rapper shit. Yeah, tell me about that, man. Who you talking nah, about that? Nah, that wasn't even about anybody. Yeah. yeah. I won't lie. A lot of the lines I say in my, my songs, it's just, I'm generalizing. I'm just talking about. Haters in general. Do you even have like uh, uh, industry friends? I mean, like if if people like Teleman and Gemini and them count as industry people, like are we industry people? Yeah. So then I, I do, I do. Yeah. It's a very small circle. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody else is either we're just cool. Like I, when I see you, it's all love. It's no tension, nothing. You know. It's crazy. Like everyone that I interview <clears throat> has no industry friends, but yet <laughs> it's an industry. Yeah. But no one's friends. No, these guys, I mean, they think they're friends. <laughs> these guys think they're friends until the other guy comes to me and says, ah, this guy is, this, this tells me stories about the other guy. And then that guy come tell me stories. I'm just like, yo, you guys need to go sort that shit out there. Like, keep that industry shit away from me, please, man. Can you, can you tell when someone's coming to you and they, they're about the bullshit? Like, yeah. from a mile away? Yeah, there's a, I, I did a whole song about something like that. It's called, it's called Sad Boys. It's like all these people that come to me and pretty much try and buy a face. You know, they try and... Talk bad about the other guys so they can seem like, like they're good. Like they, yeah. they they spotted the fake shit and they are keeping it away from me. It's like I'm just like dog. You're you're just like that person right now. Like, yeah, you know, that happens, dude. That's like, crazy. You can't live like that. You know, trying to decipher every single person you meet. You can get used to it. I mean, you can get pretty good at it. I get it now. You're chilling with these guys. These are the OGs, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, did you have to leave some people along the way? Yeah, a lot of people broke off along the way. But I realized the people that broke off are the people I didn't start with. Like, it's the people we picked up on the way. Mm, yeah. The hang- Eventually, hangers on. fucked up. And then, yeah. Ah, drop them. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep moving. Uh, on the single uh, Palm Trees from uh, Zulu Man with Power, mm-hmm. uh, you say rest in peace, OG. Uh, is, is that one of your friends? Yeah, OG. OG is one of my friends. Um, one of the people responsible for me being in the club so many times, like in Durban. He used to sneak me in when I wasn't allowed to be there. Um, if we were bored and we wanted to go perform somewhere, he'd hook it up. Like, we'd, we'd call him. He'd call Uhulu. Do you know Uhulu? No, 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 Uhulu. Yeah, so Uhulu was, like, kind of running, like, the club scene in Durban. So, um, And OG was, like, under his wing, you know? He he was, like, resident DJ at some clubs. So we just called OG and said, OG, can, can you get some tags or whatever? Can I get a little bit of stage time? Mm. Man, the bottle. And OG would always make that happen. My first, first trip to Joburg ever, he hooked it up. You know, he paid for the gas. Um, Damn. He he hooked up the place we were going to stay at. It was a dude called Sam. Um, 
Yes, I was still around. And he didn't need to. He didn't need to. <clears throat> no, not at all, dog. He wasn't like he wasn't getting paid for none of that stuff. He was my DJ at some point. He was a terrible DJ. <laughs> He's my friend, so I can say this. He was a yeah. terrible DJ. Yeah. He improved at some point, but it was a terrible. We used to always fight. Always. We used to always fight. Dog. Like after every show, I'm like, dog, this, <laughs> this line, and then you drop it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but other than that, every 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 other thing he did for me, like I didn't do nothing for him in return. He didn't expect me to do nothing in return. Like we were just we just knew, like it's like you're my brother. I'm your brother. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. And how did his uh, death impact you? It, it really messed me up, man, because, I mean, he took his own life. So I was like, damn, I, I was at a weird place where I felt like I wasn't a uh, good enough a friend because, mm. I mean, if I was, he would have called me. Damn. If, if I don't know. If I don't, I just, I don't know where it stemmed from. I don't know if it was a financial thing, it was a personal matter. I don't know what it was, but the fact that he just, he just left like that and, and didn't say nothing, that, that bugged me a lot. And that's why you had to do the song, then. Yeah. 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 How does your writing process like? How do you when you get in the studio? Like, are you like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna make a smash hit, or I'm gonna make an SMA, or I'm gonna make something for radio, or you just I go in there with a blank canvas every time. Yeah. Well, unless unless I was on like a long flight or whatever, and I was writing. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I, we always go in there like blank canvas, class stuff was great. for real. Yeah. That's and then do you, do, do, do 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 you hear the beat first and then yeah, write? Hear, hear the beat. Freestyle, say some random shit, mumble, nah, 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 nah. So that sounds catchy. All right, cool. Put some words in there. Da, 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 da. Cool, makes sense. All right, build around it. And then... I was watching an interview between Lil Wayne and Eminem, and they were like, because they got so many tracks that sometimes they have to Google <clears throat> when they write raps to see if they've said it or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. I can understand that because uh, Wayne used to do that a lot. Like, I was a huge Wayne fan, so sometimes I, I'd hear like the same line. I was like, you. You said the same shit here, Wayne, but you just, you said it different. Yeah. So, I mean, I can understand. That That kind of happens to, to me, too. It's just that I don't get to a point where I actually lay the line down. Like, while, while I'm, like, coming up with a line, I'm like, that sounds very familiar. Yeah. And then I just, okay. I'll, I'll be chatting with you now, and you'll say something, like, oh, fuck, that's dope content. And I write it down, and then when I do my show, I'll speak about it. Yeah. Do you do that, like, when you're talking to people? Yeah, I make, like, a mental note. Yeah. Some people, some people just, like... Some people are just gifted when it comes to speaking. Mm. The way they say shit is just different. It just hits different. So, so when you when you talk to those type of people, you might get like a little phrase that they said and you're like, oh shit, that was dope. Yeah. Tell me about this in me, though. Because when I listen to that track, I got a feel of Stan, you know? Eminem Stan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that vibe. Yeah, definitely. Hey, you went in. I don't know what they call it when you switch your flow and shit. The cadences or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, that joint was, I think, even subconsciously was definitely Eminem inspired. In my head, I'd I, 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 I compare it more to... Um, what's that song he did with Rihanna? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. I know another one. Lie or something. Just yeah, I love the way you lie. I love the way you lie. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, to me, it's kind of similar to that. But um, that song was like a... um, It's one of those just real songs, man. It's just about some real shit. There's not that much slanging and twanging in there. It's not that many flows yeah. or whatever. It's just straight to the point. Some real shit, real story, word for word. Dude, are you still with your girl? Yeah. Damn. Respect. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, dog. You're practically married right now, dog. Yeah. yeah, this is like, this is our ninth year, I think, or eighth year. Fuck me. Yeah, it's almost a decade. What? It's crazy, isn't it? But my thing is, I don't understand why you do that because you're so young. Dude, when I was your age, I was fucking anything that walks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, we're different. We're yeah. Different. And it makes sense to you, dog. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I have took way too many things to think about and worry about and pressures and people I had to take care of for me to be going out there and just like mixing with anybody's energy like that. Uh, ah. Oh, so it's like protecting your energy. Yeah, and just like I, I haven't met anybody else that I click with like on that level. Like, Jeez, what's so special about it, bro? Is it a creature on fire? Well, I, I wouldn't be if that was... <laughs> but, but that's not that's not the main thing, though. The main thing is just like... We're, dog, it's like we're best friends, man. It's like, yeah, yes, me, I get her. We, we're goofy, like, like and it's nice that you, uh, she knew before the fame, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Damn, dog, that that for me, I respect that man to man. Yeah. I respect that, dog, because because you could have any woman you want, dog. Celebrities, young, old, snow yeah. bunnies. I wouldn't be happy though. I wouldn't be as happy. I think. Yeah. And you never get tempted, dog. Yo, <laughs> especially hey, in man, LA. Temptation, temptation, but. <laughs> Like, I have to, I have to know, you know what I mean? Like, what's real? Yeah. Like, nah, that's not cool. Did you see uh, the AKA tweet that he tweeted about you? Last week sometime, I think. He's like, yo, fuck, I love Nasty C. It makes me so emo. Like, 
the kid is that good. That's it? Yeah. Oh. I was expecting something weird for <laughs> AKs, I was trying to, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, shout out to him, man. And then I, I, was, I, was, I was interviewing, um, uh, what's his name? Do me the volume. What's his name? Stoji T. And he was like... See, see. Not to, not to drift or anything. Yeah. See, if something... If, if AKA said something about... About... Not even just my music. Maybe, maybe about... Maybe about my character. Mm. I would entertain it. Mm. You know what I mean? He was there also like in the beginning, beginning. He helped me, put me on stage. Da, da, da. Do a little uh, whatever. So, uh, this one, one time he put me on stage with him. Not even just to open before he gets on stage. He put oh, me shit. He on stage. Just like, yeah. I mean, Spong like, organized it, but he was cool with it. He was like, yeah, for sure. I know this kid. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah. I did it. And he was like wearing similar outfits and shit. He was super cool about that shit. And that's, that's one of the moments that made me go, okay, cool. Maybe I can really do this. Mm. So, I can entertain it if, if he says some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like critiquing something or whatever. But anybody else is just like, man, thug. But anyway, go back to what you were saying. No, no, no. I like this I more. Just, I just have to <laughs> I like this more. <laughs> and then, yeah, it brings me to my discussion about, you know, there's this thing that's happening between the young Gs and the old Gs, mm -hmm. where the old Gs feel like, you know, the young Gs want like a um, teaspoon. You know, what, what do they say? Oh, uh, spoon fed. I'm yeah, want to be spoon fed. And they're like, yo, we had to kick doors. You know, you, we had to own that throne. Well, what's your take on that, on that whole thing? I don't think, they're not wrong 100%. Because... I mean, these days, every 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 up and coming artist just feels so entitled. Like they're, they're, and I know this from our perspectives. Like I know this from like an artist perspective. When you look at somebody demanding something, you're just like, man, who are you, bro? Like, relax. And also, I've seen it from a promoter's perspective. Like with the Ivy Sun tour. Like when I try to put him on, I'm just like, yo, you can come do like a young 15 minutes if you want or whatever. And he's just like, yeah, let me get this much. And it's like, bro, get out of my face. Mm. You know what I mean, like that happens. Um. And also, I think I think we're just, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, a spoiled generation because everything is kind of easier for us. You know what I mean? It's like you just have to put out a song, get this many retweets, and you're trending now. Yeah. Now you have all this attention, and you might get onto a Spotify playlist. Yeah. You made it. Pretty yeah. Much, yeah. Know? And I think that that um has made a lot of young artists like comfortable. We just uh, I'll just do this shit for my fun. It doesn't work like that though. To, and I feel like you know, you know you, you, the the artists that really do put in the work mm -hmm. and the hours are always elevated more than those guys. You know, for example, yourself, Elaine. You know, you can tell those people put in the work, and that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. And then somewhere far down the line, you get those same sport ones saying, "I ah, know you only. The only reason why you're there is because of this and that." And it's like, no, nigga, because I because I actually worked hard, type shit. You know. So I mean, they're not wrong entirely. A lot of them are just saying that because they're saying that. A lot of them are bitter, but like... Yeah, because you're coming for the spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... You're coming for their lot, bag. But but they're not 100% wrong, bro. Like, there is some truth to it. Who was fucking shit up when you started? Like, who... I was coming up. Mm. AKA was fucking shit up. And so that's that's the guy you were like, I gotta kill him. Because, I mean, it's a competitive it sport. Yeah, it wasn't. My, my mentality's never been that, bro. I don't know why people think like that. Like... Because mm. it's, it's hip-hop, like dog. I mean, if we're doing the same thing, then yes. But isn't isn't the goal for us to do different shit? Like, aren't we supposed to come in as like a breath of fresh air? You're supposed to do your own shit. I'm supposed mm. to do my own shit. So how are we competing? Mm. Like, if you're an emo rapper and I'm a, a, a struggle rapper and he's a gangster rapper, he's a love rapper. Mm. How how are we running for each other's like spots? Like, what that doesn't make any sense. Instead, we should be putting together a show where we cater for all this shit. Mm. So if you could, if you have. The, the ability to, to fill up like a 20,000 arena or whatever and, and so can I and him and him we could do 80 mm. do you know what I mean yeah. as opposed to trying to come for each other's spots so why haven't you done that niggas like egos and shit like yeah. it's hard to do that but within my circle we're, we're, we are that yeah 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 we got he's a uh, he's a trapper he's talking about drugs and shit like, <laughs> he's like shit yeah, you know yeah. what I mean yeah. he comes tell her with the marinating the vocal oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah I am sometimes I'm on the conscious shit sometimes I'm just on the trap shit also you know what I mean like we, we cater for all of that and Ivy's on tour the fans come in they cry they they rage they all that shit I don't know why you'd never like battle rap someone or like beef with someone and like have a diss track because I see your clapbacks on Twitter damn I would go in I don't lie if it was like a one off thing yeah, if it was like yo yeah, you know what let's yeah. go song for song and whoever wins this wins this there's no rematches no round two nothing there's no coming back yeah I would I wish a nigga would bro. Like, I wish <laughs> I wish but what I don't like is is everything else that surrounds that mm. you know what I mean sometimes sometimes it could 
leak over into like real life. Mm, you know, people mm. into like your girl. Or, mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Our yeah, yeah. family gets involved. Now, yeah, now your toe. <laughs> How is the toe? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Like it has a life. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> hey, that you took some me? courage when I saw that, bro. Yeah, it did. It did. I wish you told that yeah, on my it did. on my interview, bro. So you can get the clout. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. I, that's the part of it that I don't like. I don't like all that other unnecessary stuff. Because if we're beefing because we, I think I'm the better artist, then let's prove it. Let's let's make art then. Shit. You know? It's about art, man. On Twitter. I don't want to give you my followers. Yeah, I get you. All right, cool. Def Jam, how did that come about, bro? Is it universal? Um, boom, boom. It was like, it was a part of the move, like going to the States to, to try and, and penetrate the market that side. So we need, like, we have, we have, you have to speak to the, to the gatekeepers. Yeah. You know, we have to do business with them because they know it. that's their territory. You know? So you approach these guys. They don't approach you. Nah, they were, they, they, they were like an option, but oh. for the most part, we the ones that, that went for it. Oh, so you had a lot of options on the table. Yeah, I had quite a few. Columbia Records? I cannot say. <laughs> Young money. <laughs> You would have heard about that one If, if that one happened You would have heard about it but. Yeah I have a misconception That like uh, Like I said earlier I've never been to America But I yeah. feel like When you go there as a rapper They're looking for like A questa You know Like a java Something different Cause you sound like, like 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 You know A million rappers They have that side Yeah But you just have to come With something different mm. You just have to come With something different bro. And these Like Today it's a lot of rappers, yeah, but it's not that much substance. They're all talking about the same thing. It's talking about drilling and what else? Drilling. Yeah. So, Lean. Yeah, we're all talking about that. So if, if I come in and I, and I talk about some other shit or I do it differently, it's going to work. You know? If you, if you dabbled in Lean. Yeah, I drink Lean. Is it? Yeah. Dude, how is that? I've never had that, bro. It's nice. I'll advise it. Like, I'm, is it like getting would, drunk? Would do it. No, it's like a, it, it chills you. You can go to sleep. If you finish a bottle, you'll go to sleep. That's the worst that can happen, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like it's 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 like a, it's a it's a downer more than anything, man. It just puts you down nicely. Oh, you know, nice. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it just puts you. And and mellow. and hard drugs. You've never done hard drugs. Nah, I'm scared. Yeah, same here, dude. Nah, 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 nah. You know what you gotta do? Where do you stay? Where do I stay here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Centurion. 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 Oh shit, we're neighbors. Anyway, <laughs> I got you on WhatsApp now. <laughs> 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 uh, you know what you must do? Yeah. If you wanna take drugs, I don't. Yeah, you must I go. Don't, you must go outside your house, ne? Yeah. Look at it. Look at all your boys. Look at Sammy. And if you want to lose all that, then take the drug. Because <laughs> right right. we, we're too far now, bro. That's There's too much at stake, bro. Yeah, uh, it's not worth it, bro. It's eh? not worth the risk. It's not eh? worth the risk. Hell no. Yeah. My father would kill me before anybody. My father would come here. I don't think he'd even tell me. He'd just show up and strangle me, I think. Yeah. yeah. How was your money like? Because I heard on the Vlad interview, like you're diversifying, you got property and shit. Yeah, that's like, dope, dog. Yeah, man, I'm trying to trying to become a real, real businessman. You know, I'm yeah. doing a lot of different shit, like uh, digital Bitcoin, shit, digital shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bitcoin, yeah. yeah. Very active on Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. I treat that like a side hustle. Yeah. yeah. So, do you diversify into things that you love or like things that you know will make you money? Like properties is standard. Properties, the only one of them that I'm not that interested in. Mm. I mean, I am now because I have an idea of what to do with some of the property. Like, like I want to buy some land, land, land. I don't have land, land. I just bought buildings, and it's like I, I, I make people. Like, so if I come to you and I'm like, "Yo, here's this podcast. Mm -hmm. I want you to make it blow like how you did your career in music. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in that? If it made sense, yeah, hell yeah. Nah. Like if you told me this one is different because this, this is different because that. I have. Oh, you want a proposal now, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Have to go like that's money, bro. What you mean? <laughs> If I'm putting in money, that everything has to be black and white. I need to understand exactly what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, cool. So by the time this comes out, Zulu Man with some power would have been out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us about that, man. Um, just about the album and song. Yeah, just about the album, man. Like very, very special album. Yeah. Um, to me, um, I got to a point where I was like, well, I mean, I've I've always been this type of artist, but like now I pay more attention to it more than ever. But um, I'm at a point where it's like I want to give people. Music. I want to give you music. I want to give you different types of feels in the album. I don't want to just give you just one thing. One. Do you read a lot, bro? I do. Nah, that's where you get your vocabulary from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta. What do you read? Yeah. I read like uh like self motivational things. Yeah, shit. shit. That that helps build just like the way you think, the way you look at life, the way you look at business partners, all that type of shit. Yeah, like tools. 
Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the album is like I tried to I tried to d- diversify it as much as possible, try and give you different types of flavors in there. Love songs, sad songs, uh, jumpy songs, songs was just like we're just turning up. Yeah. Yeah. All that type of shit. Nice, nice man. So, dude, um, you twenty? No, oh, no, twenty-three. Twenty-three, right? Got a nice house in Centurion. Mm-hmm. You got the baddest girl in the game who loves you. She's loyal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got money coming in left, right, and Bitcoin property, whatever. <laughs> I was in twelve, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you got greats like AKA Stoji T saying you the baddest thing, or like you the greatest thing they've ever heard. Why I wake up in the morning, dog? What? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't gotten to where I want to go, bro. Like I haven't, I'm nowhere close. For real? Yeah, There's bro. more. Yeah, yeah, kind of though. Like I can see the path. Like I, I know where I'm going, but do you get what I'm saying, dog? Like I'm, I'm, to go, bro. I'm 32, and if I had the shit that you have, I wouldn't wake up in the morning. Fuck that. I'm good. Nah, we I'm nice. Different, I'm different. I have to get the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Like, I wanna... So that's what motivates. Like you. when I stop, when I, when I when I stop like rapping and whatever, like. I want to be able to just stop and not worry about, oh, like, when people look at my legacy, will they be satisfied? Will they say, yeah, this guy definitely did it? Or will they go, I thought it was going to be bigger than that. But anyway, I don't I don't want that. Like, I want people to go, shit, like, like damn, and start looking at what they've been doing. You know what I mean? Be so you're doing this shit, shit to leave a legacy? Yeah. Yeah, undeniable one. One that'll make any, any, any person in any corner of the gassy somewhere think... I can do that too. If he did it, if he comes from Elo for Fed saying, and he did it like that, and and what? I'm definitely doing it. You know what I mean? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna leave that type of like imprint. You know? But do you take time to like chill and just you know drink some lean and look back <laughs> <laughs> at all your accomplishments and be like, fucking hell, I've done this. Like, I take it all in, bro. Yeah, we do every now and then. Every now and then we we'll go to like a random spot somewhere. I love it. Go somewhere in the bushes, or we will go somewhere nice. Get like a nice little. House, chill there by the lake, by the beach, whatever. And just like give ourselves like a week to just take everything in, relax, forget about work. And as soon as we, we land back here, it's just back to it. Because I feel like we don't do that sometimes, you know. We we take yeah. the things we've made uh, accomplished for granted, you know. Yeah, yeah. Especially me, I was like, I was, I didn't believe in that, like taking taking breaks like that, like that, like until I really started doing like all this work, and I was like, oh shit, I definitely need it. Like it was driving me crazy. Like I was really. Starting to get a little anxious at times. Um, I was very doubtful of some things at times. It's just like my mind wasn't just like, it wasn't functioning right. Yeah. yeah I was like, I was overworking myself. And then I, I was like, yo, let me let me go blow some of this money. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Dude, I'm picking up like, you got a lot of, uh, you need a lot of reaffirmation. Like you got a lot of insecurities, isn't it? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm a kid that, that really struggled with uh, insecurity. For real? Yeah, bro. Nasty, do not dope your dog. Hey, bro, like... It was hard work getting to where I am. Trust me. Like, it, it was a journey. Not only just as an artist, as a person, dog. As somebody with a level head. Like, it, it took me a while to get my shit together, man. Jeez, I can't even imagine what you're going to be doing at my age, bro. Hopefully nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be a billionaire by then. Hopefully nothing. <laughs> Nasty thieves. Uh, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate it, uh, Do you want to spit something from us for, for the album? Or is oh, that, like, man. played out now? Nah, that's it's just played out. It's played out, man. Do they still they still do that? <laughs> like 3, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Nah, nah, nah. We'll, we'll save it for the next interview. Yeah, then. we'll save it for the next one. Yeah, next one I'm coming to LA to the spot. Yes. Yeah. On some front front like front yard, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna invite Ti. Shoot a podcast there. Everybody, we can. Yeah, it'll be like a music video. <laughs> Cameos in the back. The baby in the back. The baby in the back. <laughs> Yeah, man. Podcast with Juliari. Make sure you cop uh, Zulu Man with some power. Yes, sir. The song that we did with Kazda. In fact, I'm sorry, guys. I have to say this. The what is that song? Yeah, I don't know. I must say this. I'm sorry to say this on air, and I must say that's our song. It's a composer of that song. The whole song, only that piece. 
That's Mildred's song. She's the composer of that song. And then he added, she added, he added, who is Dylan Zabu, is in your Yeah, and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so grateful. Kunyambela is so great. I must say, we appreciate these guys when they go on and doing our songs, but we have to talk first. We have to talk first and fix up our things. Yeah, and then uh, secondly, like you said, I've recorded, we have recorded with all the musicians internationally. We have recorded with all the top guys overseas, in overseas, in New Orleans, America, you name them, France, Paris. Yeah, it's, it's because of what you are, it's because of that you are a true musician. Tina, you can take them to nowhere to know that they like Lumpa Kangane, but let me tell you, it's the correct part the correct any note. So la so 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 mi so mi re mi fa re to la iti ndongo. Ang fun we na fun abo. Iti. So la so 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 mi so mi re mi fa re. Eh eh. And then the second part ya ko iti. Ni shi second part ni no uti iti. Mi fa mi 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 do do mi do. Including going any song yake. From whatever he's saying, he know it seems incorrect. Footman, I'm going to part a two less is incorrect. You have another. We find him a paise. We can never eat. So this is what we are. This is this shows that we are talented, and this is our gift. Never mind how to tell the pants on back then. Yes. But there is also one other thing. Eh, Tina Manje, any bona which is so much unfair in South Africa. Our music is no longer played on radios like those olden days. Hence, if your own music, in Adali, my new song, it's not played on air, okay, the company gives them the CD and they don't play it, people are not going to know about the song. They, they, they're not going to be able to buy the, the, the music because they don't know it. Yeah, the our song is not played. Our songs are no longer being played on air. Now this is in that and we've got a demand from people. I've got the people who are calling me every day from Bona Tali Cape Town who say, Mami, we want your songs. Where are we going to get your songs? And as sisters this one as in Sagazwin. Now now they ever sagas now young cadis. If you keep on with your music like that, Tina. If we keep on with our music like that, baby, let me tell you, our music is amazing. Right now, I've got, I got a call from, from London. I was shocked. Those guys telling me that they have just released the album. Yeah, it's you, yeah, to, you know, actually think about Dylan Ekal, and it's been selling up till now. If you keep, you, if you don't change what you are, you keep on what you are, you don't change everything, it's everything for you, it will be okay.